Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about cytokinins plant hormones. Cytokinins plant hormones perform various functions in plant. First of all, they promote the stem growth by cell division in the apical meristem as well as in cambium. I have already told you about what is the apical meristem. You have a stem structure here. So the actively growing cell at the tip of the stem is known as apical meristem and this hormone is going to promote the division in this particular area so the length of the stem it can be increased as well as it will also increase the cell division in the cambium area it's going to inhibit the primary root growth but going to promote the lateral root growth now what is primary root here you can see this part here this main root is actually known as primary root and when the branching starts from the primary roots these branched roots are known as lateral roots so what it's going to do that it is going to inhibit the growth of primary root so the main root it is not going to extend or not going to increase in the size but it is going to increase the length of the lateral root so that more branches are produced and they can easily penetrate into the soil along with this it is going to promote the bud initiation and leaf growth bud initiation means that the bud of flower it's going to promote that and also going to increase the leaf growth it's going to promote fruit growth and it is going to rarely induce parthenocarpy. We know the parthenocarpy is the development of fruit without fertilization. It means that male and female gimme does not need to be fused with each other to form a seed and from that seed plant is formed. But in case of parthenocarpy without the formation of seed fruit growth is going to take place. It's going to promote lateral bud growth and also going to break bud dormancy. Lateral means similarly the side bud. For example, here we have this part here. So the bud formation here, it's going to be promoted. Along with this, it's going to break the bud dormancy. Dormancy means that inactive period of that bud. It means that bud is present here, but it is not going to grow or it is not going to convert into flower. So what this cytokinin is going to do, it's, it's going to break the bud dormancy and it's going to allow this bud to be converted into a flower. It's going to promote the stomatal opening. Here you can see this is the opening of stomata. So when the cytokinins is present, it's going to activate the opening of stomata. It's going to cause the delay in leaf senescence. It means that it's going to prevent the leaves to become old like it happens in autumn. There are some commercial applications of cytokinins. It's going to delay aging of fresh leaf crops for example cabbage and lettuce so if you are going to spray these cytokinins on cabbage and lettuce the leaves of these vegetables they will remain fresh for a longer period of time similarly it's going to keep the flowers fresh and it is used to break the dormancy of some seeds and then allowing the seed to grow into a plant so that was all about cytokinins plant hormones if you have any question related to this lesson you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video